Holden, one, two, three, four. Rick Kelly, same uh, in the same boat as Van Gisbergen, and pushing his way back through the field. So he's the leading Nissan. James Moffat also in there as well. Dale Wood finishes in 10th spot. Davey Reynolds was the best of the Ford guys. Jack Perkins, we saw him trundling around at the end. So you go down to 17th to find those on the board. Jamie Winkup finishing in 15th and then a whole stack of DNFs for various reasons, but mostly because of the concrete barriers. This was an extraordinary race featuring all types of controversy, amazing crashes. Watch this one from Will Davis and a little touch from James Moffat. That's all it takes. And then the Erebus Mercedes is just ripped to shreds down the left-hand side. And that was the beginning of mayhem. It certainly it was, was. Then on the restart, this happened. Jason Bright, Team BOC, coming around turn one, gets flipped over. Watch this. Pirouettes into the air. One and a half ton, virtually, of V8 supercar thrown around like a rag doll. He's never had a rollover in his long career. Now he knows what it's like to feel the full force. There was damage everywhere because of that. And then another restart. They'll be controversial. You'll be reading about them throughout the week. And so too this. The car controller deemed to be touching the car. And the penalty is a black flag. The pit lane drive through. They were furious about that. There's conjecture about touching, working on the car. What does it really mean? The result was that Jamie Winkup ended up having to fight back himself. He would have contact. And then this was such heartbreak for Nick Perkat, the local boy, into the fence. And then Craig Lowndes into the fence on the last lap as well. But an outstanding drive from James Courtney and from Lowndes and from all of those left on the lead lap, really. No doubt. It's a battle of survival. <laughs> He won at Winton last year. It was a tough year and a tough way to finish for him. But the Holden Racing team said, OK, we've got to change the way we do business here. It was controversial when Adrian Burgess left Red Bull Racing and went there. They've got a very clear strategy. Give these guys the cars that they need and let's win races. And a bit of crowd surfing to finish it off.